I just want to challenge all of us to say, Jesus, I want to go, I want to go pack a lunch. I want to go pack a lunch. I want to, every time I'm around young people, whether that's kids, whether that's that's students, I want to pack a lunch. I want to help prepare them for however God wants to use them. And that for those of you that are parents, that's that's for your own biological children as well. I'll hop on a plane this afternoon in Syracuse and fly home to be with my own girls, and I have to remind myself I'm going home to pack a lunch, both literally and spiritually. School's tomorrow morning. We're going to be packing lunches. But it is an investment. And I just want to say to you today, no matter what your age, on behalf of the next generation, they need you. The next generation needs you. And yes, they, they may look different, dress different, talk different. You may not know what be real is. That's okay. But they need you. They need your prayers. They need you to be able to show them what it's like to be faithful in marriage and faithful in serving and showing up to church on time. Like sometimes like, yeah, amen. You know, the next generation, they need you. So as we pray this morning, I just want us all to walk out of this room again with this resilience in our hearts saying, you know what? I'm going to go pack a lunch. I'm going to say, God, use me however. And it may mean that I am nameless and not mentioned, but it will mean that you will work a miracle in young people's lives. So Jesus, we thank you today for who you are. We thank you for your love. You show us each day, Jesus. God, I pray that each of us walk out with a greater resilience in our heart, Lord, to pack a lunch that it may be being unseen, unmentioned, unnoticed, unthinked, but the most important thing is that we are preparing the next generation for how you would want to move in them, how you would want to use them, and how you would want to miraculously multiply your work in them. So Jesus, this morning, we're just here to say we're available. That God, more than our ability, you are looking for our availability. And so that is the heart cry of us this morning, that we're here and we're available, Jesus. We're available.